The following video is by request from a person who posted a, com a question and or comment yesterday. Dear WAP Tech, I got a question. A person is missing in my country. Police showed a video, but it's edited. It doesn't have a time and date on the screen, etc. I know you from Las Vegas YouTube videos. We're not going to say what kind of videos. I watched every video, and we both know there's also edited body cam videos. My question, what does that all mean? Why police do things like this? It's always alarming. They remove seconds to hide something? Answer. Bad memory backup and timer batteries and privacy concerns and making sure people focus on what they need them to look at. Let me explain. Uh, there was a video from a long time ago from Seattle that is of a person called the Seattle Zombie. You can go look it up. Pause the video if you want to. Okay. I did a debunking of the video, but someone pointed out there's a body cam, a couple of body cam recordings, and there's lots of people recording, but everybody seemed to edit something out. So I'm going to give you this. Here's my video here with me standing here, or sitting here. Now I'm going to introduce a distraction. Don't look at the ghost. Okay, and then I put it away. If all you want is a condensed version of what I'm saying, because my videos go on and on too long, you're going to edit out that part because it's not relevant to what I'm talking about. The police put up a video saying, there's a missing person, this is a security video. I Stop calling it CCTV, that's not necessarily what it is, please. It's a security video. Here's a security video. And then they don't explain, by the way, the security camera equipment had the wrong year. Over 60% of security camera equipment on the planet that you get recordings from has the wrong time and date stamp. And about midnight, it's even more confusing because you'll get two different dates on the screen as it goes past midnight. This causes so much confusion that it's actually become a subject matter in forensics and in jurisprudence to explain to the jury the recording you're about to watch doesn't have the correct time and date stamp, or it might have the correct time, but at the wrong day. And also, oh, by the way, it was a leap year, uh, it changed dates, and oh, by the way, it was it, they compensated for the time and date uh, by moving, adding seconds to it or something. That's one of the causes. Technical reasons, we'll call it. Uh, the other reason is privacy. In the case of the Seattle body cam video, parts of the video were cut out because the Seattle zombie lady who was doing this as some sort of stupid stunt stopped talking. So there's this long period of time where they're not talking. They're just standing there. So there's no reason to have it in the recording. The other thing is, other people in the background were talking. It's not relevant, and they wanted to make sure the video was only relevant components. In the case of body cam videos, it's because body cam video recorders stop recording at random. No, I, I've actually tested one. I got a hold of one, an actual police body cam at one point. I was going to do a video on it, but it literally died while I was testing it. Jostling it or just looking at it funny would make it re just not record because the memory card's old and it's trying to deal with damaged memory cards. The police are too cheap to put in new cards, apparently, or it doesn't know it's a bad card, so it records in a blank spot and we get a broken up video. The format they use on body cams are made to tolerate bad media for that reason. I didn't know that, and a lot of people didn't know it, until the police specifically in Las Vegas explained it. Some of the videos are edited by us YouTubers. For instance, one person was just standing around pontificating on his video, talking smack during an, an incident in Las Vegas, and we edited out him basically blathering, because all we needed was the sounds of the, we'll call it, firecrackers. In the background, it wasn't firecrackers. We needed that for synchronization purposes, but him blathering on and on was mind-numbing and it was removed. Every time he opened his mouth, we muted it. Because reasons. The police might have shown you a security video on the news or on the internet and edited out a bunch of parts because they wanted you to concentrate on, have you seen this person? They might edit out everybody else in the scene. So you concentrate on that person's face. Now, is this helpful? I'm one of those people that wants unedited raw video, but I'm a responsible person who isn't going to come up with a conspiracy theory about some guy in the background. 
There are thousands of videos on the internet of people looking for anybody in the background of a photo or a video to go find them and harass them because they're in a picture. I'm not kidding. That's all the criteria. They're, these people are sick in the head and fixate on something they think is unusual and then harass the actual person in the photo. This has happened so often that people know this and will demand that if the police or anybody else takes a photo, that they get their privacy preserved by blurring them. I have been asked by a police officer while he was wearing a body camera some questions about something that happened in the area in Portland. The first thing out of my mouth is, are you aware that I'm allowed to request that you blur my face and alter my voice? He said, I, I, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not going to answer any questions until you respond. And then I said, and I will file a lawsuit. And I will win. And you can fix this by answering a simple damn question. I don't care how stressed you are. Because at that point, if you're not aware of it in Portland, no one had died. Nothing terrible had happened. It was a car accident. But he acted, feigned. I'm in panic mode because I'm a police officer with a gun on my hip. They, they're taught to behave like hysterical nitwits so they can get things done. And I told him, stop acting hysterical like you were told to do and act like a grown-up. He said, fine, I am demanding you blur my face and alter my voice if I give you information. Unless absolutely necessary, I do not want you revealing information. I've been stalked on the internet and I've been threatened with death. Did you hear the words coming out of my mouth? Yes. Repeat them. Because he was being aggressively hysterical and acting like he couldn't hear me. And when the video, the video was completely edited, my voice was included, it was presented in a court case because I was witness testimony. I gave him all my information, but I said, you can't give out my information unless it's absolutely necessary because I don't want to be stalked for five years. Now, this was a car accident. And guess what happened? They didn't reveal my information. And a private investigator showed up because over a lousy $5,000 insurance cost looking for me. So yeah, the police are going to edit things out. Because people like me exist that say, I've been stalked on the net. I'm demanding you blur my information. I'm providing you testimony. You can use it as is. If you need my information, you can hide it behind some sort of barrier. But anyway, aside from that, and aside from proactively just editing everything out that isn't needed, the, the other reason you'll be missing information is They'll edit out the part that says time and date stamp because it's got the wrong damn year in it. Or it's not relevant. Or they're just wanting people to very much fixate on, have you seen this person? And again, everyone in the background in a photo suddenly becomes a target for every freak on the internet. Okay? So, a person in your country is missing. It's presumably Poland simply because I looked up your channel and I'm presuming you're in Poland, but who knows? You could be in Portland for all I know. Police showed security video, and it's edited, doesn't have the time and date stamp, and why do they do this? The answer is, one, technical reasons might make it have false information or unnecessary information. Two, to get you to look at what they need you to look at because they're trying to find somebody, they might cut out everything other than that person's face. See also, the bridge guy that they should not have, have edited. The next thing... Very importantly, uh, besides technical issues and them wanting to fixate things, they want to exclude anything that's not relevant to the subject that could cause a person to be literally harassed and, and, and stalked. So the video might have contained people in the background. They blur their faces. Uh, it might have contained sounds that are not relevant. They would mute those, uh, etc. It's not the dramaticism enhanced mode that we see in movies. It's more at... This is the crappy video we got. This is what we got to use. And again, over 50%, it's like 60%. Over 50% of security cameras have the wrong hour, minute, second, year, month, and day. They just don't have it accurate. Or it's done in a format that is unconventional as hell. And that includes the body cams they're wearing. A lot of cops have had a body cam that had the wrong year or the wrong date or didn't have the time or increment at all. That doesn't make sense. That shouldn't happen. But with them, it's only 10%. It's evidence and it's missing data. That's bad. But it's not intentional. It's not suspicious. It's just that they're dealing with 
eight-year-old equipment that's breaking down with old lithium batteries in it, little lithium cells that are past their five-year time limit. You get the idea. And even if they fix these things, I've, I've had possession of one of these for a YouTube video because I got one. And it would screw up the time and date stamp while it was recording, while I was having it sit completely still on a table. I couldn't get the thing to work reliably enough to demonstrate how unreliable the damn thing is. And that's with a brand new memory card. Now think about being a police officer and they're running like crazy and running into things and getting tackled and in some cases hit by a car shot at. So yeah, you're going to get a lot of edits. So for your information, the reason the police and other sources often edit security and body cam video is because... They don't really have a choice in some cases. And yes, sometimes it's done to obfuscate or hide things. But that turns out, if you want to know, to be less than 1 in 1,000 videos have intentional doctoring to hide something. It's normally to keep us focused on what we're being asked about and focused on what the subject matter is and to eliminate distractions like it being the wrong time and date stamp or people in the background or noises. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and I wish you wish you all luck with it.